Welcome back to World History. I'm Mr. McCall. Today, what we'll be working on is uh, we'll explain how geography affected the location of early settlement in India and supported the rise of civilizations. We've talked in the past about what civilizations are and the seven things that are required to have a civilization. My first question for you is this. What makes a good neighborhood? I want you to stop and I want you to think about for you, about four things that make a good neighborhood. Go. All right, so this is my list. You, you probably came up with a different one. But my list, the first thing I have are schools, because obviously Mr. McCall loves schools, and he thinks it's very important to have schools. Uh, so schools, you want to check to make sure those are good. Next thing I have is transportation it's not going to be fun living in a neighborhood where you have to walk everywhere, especially if they don't have the things in the neighborhood that you need. So transportation is also important, whether it's buses or uh, subways or trains or bicycles or whatever. Uh, next thing is food, whether it's grocery stores or uh, restaurants. You need to know what kind of food is available in your neighborhood. You're going to prefer to have a good grocery store in your neighborhood because you need to be able to buy food. You can't go out to eat all the time. You'll put on a ton of weight and you'll waste a lot of money. So you need to have a good grocery store that you can go to that has fair prices and all the food that you're going to need. And the, the other thing I came up with was work. For you to have a good neighborhood uh, to stay there, you have to have good work. You can't... Uh, you can't live in a good neighborhood and consider it a good neighborhood if you have to go several hours away for work. So for a good neighborhood to be good for you, you have to have work nearby. So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about where should early farmers settle. Well, the, the answer is clear. It's river valleys. All right. So we talked about hunters and gatherers and how they became farmers they end up going to river valleys. Just many, many civilizations start along these river valleys. I want you to think for a moment about what makes river valleys good to settle. Think about it. Well, here's the first benefit. There's plenty of water. Humans have to have water to survive. And river valleys, you have a river that comes nearby, you have plenty of water. The next thing you might not be familiar with before this class, but uh, rivers provide fertile soil. And what is fertile soil? Fertile soil is soil that is very productive. Plants grow really well in it. So it's easy to grow a farm in fertile soil. Now, the next thing that river valleys can be tremendous for is travel. So just like on our previous list, we said transportation was important. Well, travel is a lot easier if you have a river. A lot of ancient civilizations had uh, uh, river systems that they could travel. Think of the, the Nile River. Uh, wonderful for travel north and south. Uh, we're going to be discussing the Ganges and the Brahmaputra and the Indus River Valley. Um, so there's a, a lot of opportunities for travel on rivers. And the last thing that I would suggest is it's great for trade. Now trade is actually a combination of two of these. Uh, the fertile soil allows you to create a lot of things. Travel allows you to get to different places and different places are going to have different resources. So being on a river valley helps you trade with neighbors. So when we talk about the early settlements in India, let's take a look at this. Now this map shows us where these early settlements were in India. We see the Hindu Kush, we see the Himalayas, we see the Deccan Plateau, Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, Dar Desert, now, what we don't see are early settlements in those places. All right, Where we do see them, these early settlements are the red dots, 
we do see them at the foothills of the Hindu Kush mountains uh, around the Indus River Valley all around it. They, they're on the, the border of the Tar Desert but they don't really get into the depths the interior. Uh, we do have some on the coast so the, these people had access to uh, the monsoons and they had access to the Arabian Sea so they could trade and travel with with that but most of them are going to be in this Indus River Valley system. Well today what we wanted to study was how geography affected the location of early settlement in India and supported the rise of civilization there. Right here we see it. River valleys were ideal for several reasons. And where do they end up settling? River valleys. I hope this was edifying. This has been World History with Mr. McCall. Take care.